Good morning, Year 5. Today we're going to be looking at finding uh, the area of rectangles. Um, we've got a definition there for you. Um, area equals uh, the amount of space taken up by a two-dimensional shape or surface. And area is measured in square units. So let's say the rectangle that we've got here, um, so we're using centimetres, we would write centimetres squared. All right. Or if it, if it was millimetres, again, it'd be millimetres squared meters squared and so on if you look at the the part of that definition there where it mentions surfaces you know you could find the area of a tabletop we might need to try and find the area of the classroom or we might need to find the area of the mugger for example uh, the playground so what we really want to find out today is this here okay all right, everything that is in between those thick blue lines. All right, so that's what we're looking for. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, I think in year four, you probably would have done it like this. Um, you just would have counted the number of squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So you've got 15 centimetres squared. That's the total area of that rectangle, okay? So you would have done it using that quite simple method. But what we want to look at is this, this formula that we have down here, all right, which is area equals length times width, all right? So what we're looking at here is the length multiplied by the width. And we can see if we look at the length, we've got one, two, three, four, five centimeters. And then we look at the width, we're gonna multiply that by one, two, three. All right, so the calculation that you're gonna be doing here is five centimeters times three centimeters which, you know, we know our times tables. Um, we can tell that that is 15 centimetres squared. All right, and it's really, really important that you um, use those squared units, all right? Um, obviously, in perimeter, we were looking at the distance around the outside of the shape when we were just using regular units, but it's always got to be squared units when you're looking to find the area, okay? So just don't forget that. Okay, so the last thing I just wanted to say was that um, I put some activities on for you to have a go at today, boys and girls. And um, there's about three different sh uh, sheets for you to have a go at there. So if you if you want to, you can spread those over today's lesson and tomorrow's lesson. Um, but I will be putting up a video tomorrow, which will have some discussion problems on there. Um, some of the questions. Uh, that you'll be having a go at today uh, and possibly tomorrow will look like this. Um, so they might be um, they might be times tables that you're unfamiliar with. So don't forget to use um, the method that we practiced last Friday in our arithmetic, and that is the long multiplication method. There, okay. Um, if you if you if you feel confident using that method, uh, that is definitely the method to use, and it will um, it will get you to the answer quickly. All right. Thank you.